So Brahmana is not a caste name. Unfortunately, it became a caste name, even though he does not know anything about it. So, you get the words of elevated, you can see Amma, you can see Narayana Gurudeva, you can see Sathya Sai Baba, you can see so many people might not have got their birth in Brahmana Kula, but got far, far beyond the Brahmin's level. Far, far beyond the Brahmin's level. They have reached the level of Paramahamsa. What is the level? You see, if you can remember, I say only one hand. From Shudra going up to Vaishya, Vaishya to Kshatriya, Kshatriya to Brahmana, Brahmana to Sanyasi, Sanyasi to Rishi, Rishi to Maharishi, Maharishi to Hamsarishi, Hamsarishi to Paramahamsarishi, Paramahamsarishi to last day, Paramahamsa, Paribrajaga Rishi. Eight step. Paramahamsa, Paribrajaga Rishi. This is the transformation of the same individual, not transformation of the society. One individual, Janmana or Jayade, Shudra. From there, he was going up to Paramahamsa, Paribrajaga level. At that time, you can, not, need not be at that time, even at the halfway, you can chant Veda Mantra. How you should chant Veda Mantra? Very, very systematically. Sound energy is most important. Veda Mantras, many Tamil Brahmins and of course our Tulu Brahmins also, they chant so fast as though the bus is waiting for them. You know, Master Jamanya was over here, Veda Mahanas, Tetulan, Manevaho, Pyat, and Ohaya, the issue of Sulavas, Rapopo, they know. This is not mantra at all. He was chanting in Jurveda. This is neither mantra, the God Himself will be afraid of it. Oh my Lord, this is not the way in which I expect that fellow to chant this mantra. If he is not chanting, no problem. Is it not? See, if you are not giving Upuma to anybody, that fellow will not feel anything. Suppose you are giving Upuma which is rotten or which is very bad, then what that fellow will do? Whatever he has taken the previous day, that also will come out. If you are not giving Upuma, nothing will come out. But giving bad Upuma, definitely that will be affecting him. So when you have to chant, Atmi ile purohitam yajnasya deva pratvijam Oda aram ratna dadamam Atmi purve e bhrashivir E dhyodhuda nairutam Sadevan e havakshati Atmi na anajimasna vatpusha meva Dive dive Yashasam vira vattamam Atmi yam yajnamatvaram Pradraha Parikhura Se Sayat Eve Shoka Chati This is Veda Mantra. Shruti is required. Can you tell 10 Shrutis? Udhata Anudhata Swarita Reva Raswa Prateya Anunasika Kampa Dhirka Kampa Pluta 10 Shrutis are there. So if you have got that level up and down Abhi This, this sound should come. If this is not coming, then Sadhguru used to ask me, sir, I am chanting Gayatri Mandara for the last 41 years, there is no use. Chanting Gayatri Mandara for the last 41 years, there is no use. Only reason is that God, Sun God, Maja God irritated in this fellow standing. There is no other reason. What is the irritation? On that Sun Guru Maja 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 Just like the cassette tape goes wrong, this fellow chants this Gayatri Mantra. The last part of that you know, Yo Yo Na Prajodaya, Na Prajodaya. Telling the God, don't activate me, Na Prajodaya. Na Prajodaya. Instead of Na, that Naha you are telling Na Prajodaya. Instead of that Na Prajodaya. In Malayalam, I used to say a joke always. Always. Nalla Vannam Parenamay. Nalla Vannam Parenamay. When you are playing, it's very good number. But suppose you are splitting that. Nalla Vannam Parenamay. What will happen? Nalla Vannam Parenamay. Let the whole thing become happy and they're all happy. Nalla Vannam Parenamay. Let us become fat. So that, that Nalla and Vannam has got half a matra space, the total meaning is changed. So when you are learning Veda Mantra, you have to learn ten Sruti. That is not that easy. So especially from Tamil Nadu people who are, don't have the background of Sanskrit, 
how can you learn? Only you have got katana tapa. You don't have ga, 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 ga. If you don't have, how you can chant this word? So start from the very beginning. They don't you can. At the same time, you can chant Purana Mantra. No problem. Sruti is not there. Vishirvaja Chakravataya Suryakana Vikate Vidya Tasmindura Atmani Suryani Vadecha Devya Kamtushtu Bhukrati Dimbra Varodramsa Agni Praharsha Kulagolka Majaru Deha Devya Yaya Tatamidam Chakadatma Shakya Vishesha Deva Gana Chakti Samunga Mutya Ambika Magira Deva Maharshi Mutya This is Purana Mandra. You can chant. There is no Sruti. It's a, it's a continuous art of mantra chanting. You can chant it even Nrita uh, Sahasranamam. Sindhura, Aruna, Vigraha, Mrinaya, Ramma, Nekya, Maulisvara, Stara, Raja, Gachi, Ikhara, Smita, Mughi, Mavi, Navak, Chauri, Ramma, Nekya, Mane. So simple. In the train you can chant, only purity is required. Vishnu Sahasranamam, Itihasa Mantra, you can chant. Chirodha, Natrade, Shesu, Jimani, Vilasa, Saiga, Dai, Mautika Anam Mala Vyatta Astana Stas Padika Vani Nibhai Mautika Imandi Dangaha Shukhrai Rabhrai Rabhrai Nubhari Vila Nibhai Mukta Viyusha Varshai Akshara Shuddhi is required If it is not there, then again the problem comes With that Shuddhi you can chant no problem But Veda Mantra, unless you get yourself elevated to that level Chanting becomes dangerous, meaning goes wrong the reason is that Veda Mantra, when you chant, it affects your brain. Neurolinguistic effect. That is the Veda Mantra. Neurolinguistic effect discovered by ultra modern scientists, psychologists, as well as physiologists. So, that neurolinguistic effect you will be getting if and only if you are chanting the Veda Mantra with the Shruti. With the apasruti, brain effect goes wrong. That is why in older days people used to say, if you are not chanting Veda properly, you will get psychologically, mentally abnormal. Some people are already abnormal. Now they start chanting this Veda Mantra in abnormally. Then what will happen? Then agree in their abnormality with it. So, when we chant Veda Mantra, remember that it has got the sound, perfect sound. So, unlike any other religion, chanting the, um, their Vedas or their holy books, it is not like that. Veda, when you chant, Atrishnena Rajasa, Vartamano Nemesha Yatna, Amritam Matyam Jat, Hiranya Yena Savidara Dena, Evo Yadi Bhuvanani, Vashyanna, you can see the sound variation, that effect which is created on your body, in your brain, that is the Indian literature. Every Veda, every mantra, when you perform Ganavati Havana, you can see Ganavati Havana Kundavi is there. Why we perform Ganavati Homa? In fact, Ganavati is coming from there and going to take your coconut. Spiritually, it is okay. Otherwise, Ganavati has got so much work. Lot of work, he has to go so many places. Instead of that, we worship Ganesha. Psychological upliftment, spiritual upliftment, plus most important, when you put coconut into the fire, the fire scenes coming out of this Ganavati Goma, fire scenes, a peculiar compound, that purifies all this area. Purification of environment takes place. Then people may think, is it that important? Yes. You know, in Kerala, there's a coconut tree disease, coconut disease. We call it Mandani Rogam. You have heard Mandani Rogam in Kerala, which is very important. It is the Rogam brought by LDF and UDF and MDF. All the three parties brought that one there. And Finally, what happened? They, they sprayed polydol, they sprayed furidine, they sprayed marathion, arathion, every thion they sprayed. 37.8 crore rupees worth of pesticides sprayed into the air. Finally, what happened? Mandari is still there. Absolutely not changed. Mandari is enjoying all this arathion. And finally, what happened? 
seven German professors came. Seven German professors came to Trichur. And one area which is called Kodinello, they went, performed Garandi Homa, saved Garandi Homa. As a scientist, I keep very, very bold carefully. They, they performed the Garabadi Goma in a chatti. You know what is meant by chatti? There is no English word equivalent to that. But some of these things only Malayalam or Tamil words are there. So we need to, for Italy, what is the English word? Is there any English word for Italy? It's nothing like that. So we have got only some Malayalam words. So chatti, they put the Garabadi Goma and the fumes, they stood under this coconut. Coconut is a coconut tree. For about 8 to 10 seconds, all Mandari weevils disappeared. Every Mandari weevil out of 800 coconut trees they did in one day. One day, not more than. We did not take months together. Just you take this one, you need not chant mantra. If mantra is chanted, then again sacramentation problem will come. So they did not chant mantra. Just to show this one, the pyrocines went up. It's a powerful antimicrobial, anti insecticides. So they escaped and a coating of these pyrocines took place automatically from the fumes. So all these coconut trees were saved. Germans came and saluted, Indians, this is your technology, not our technology. So when we do Antara, it has got fewer signs in that. Like this, we have hundreds and thousands, not one or two. I will tell you when operations are chanted, how far we will be reaching. Vidya Amcha, Avidya Amcha, Estat Veda Ubhayam Saha Avidyaya Pratyam Tirtva Vidyaya Pratamasnute This line, 11th stanza of Ishavas Upanishad taken by Arnold Toyenbi, American Arnold Toyenbi said this is the only philosophy applicable for the modern world Vidya Amcha Vidya Amcha Very fortunately Arnold Toyen B knows its meaning. Very fortunately, none of the Indians know its meaning. Do you not know what is the meaning? Vidya Amcha, Vidya Amcha, Esther Veda Ubhayam Saha. There are two types of knowledge. One Vidya, another Avidya. What is Vidya? Avidya and Vidya, we say they are opposite. Just like Satyam opposite, Asatyam. So Vidya opposite, Avidya. Many sannyasins say that Vidya opposite, Avidya wrong. Vidya and Avidya are complementary to each other. Vidya Amcha, Avidya Amcha, Estat Veda Ubhayam Saha. Two types of knowledge are there. One Vidya. What is Vidya? Eternal, experienceable, spiritual knowledge. Eternal, experienceable, spiritual knowledge is Vidya. External, experimentable scientific knowledge avidya yetnavarkya maharshi could define it he did not define in english at that time english was not there the time of yetnavarkya maharshi there was no english only sanskrit was there so eternal experienceable spiritual knowledge vidya external experimentable scientific knowledge avidya these are the two knowledge you should integrate these two. Then, Avidyaya Pratyam Tirtva. Use the scientific knowledge for overcoming the difficulties in the life. For overcoming the difficulties or pains in the life. Vidyaya Pratamasnote. Use the Vidya for attaining immortality. Arnold Toyen, he said, any chapter which has a beginning in the West should have the Indian part in that. So Western science plus Eastern spiritual knowledge should integrate. We should learn it. We should teach others. Analyze every bit of that. I'm sure that we can come back. All the 101 crore people can be brought back. Provided we are informing them the true spirituality, true thinking, true philosophy and the true scientific heritage of India. That is exactly what is Sanatana Dharma means. Tens of thousands of people are coming back to Hindu fold all over India and outside. Sure, whatever is negative we are seeing need not get that much disturbed. But we should get activated ourselves to equip 
for taking India to the most modern world without removing, without destroying any of our heritage values. Superstitions are to be removed. Any limitations are there. It should be covered up. Then we should get a debate about it. Sir. With your help, I am sure that we can do a lot. Amma is helping us last visit. Now, I think Middle East, Amma's Swami Jesus and other groups are helping us so much that per day about 20,000 cassettes. Sold in Muscat, 20,000 cassettes. One day sold in Muscat. Something I, I felt is so happy. Revolutionary change. We can change our country. Provide you are all with us. Let us share 1% of our income to some divine purpose. Give to anybody for bringing back our heritage. 3% of our time for social work, cultural and scientific upliftment of India. 3% of our time is to be utilized. Both husband and wife should utilize 1% of their income. India will come. I am sure Swamiji is here. Amma is there for guiding. <coughs> the whole world we can take their help. But devotion, all devotion, sincerity, so that Hindu dharma is the name Hindu dharma. It should come back. It will come back. I would like to express my, my deepest gratitude with Paramputaniya Swamiji as well as Swamiji who is here and Amma who is here in her picture form but she is continuously revolving just like earth revolves around the sun she is revolving around the globe for bringing back our dharma